my name is Sandra and and I am going to share with you a short story that I heard from a friend of mine who loves traveling and uh, she uh, was traveling into Italy just recently and you know <clears throat> as we all know when you when you travel to Italy you travel for a um, few things. One of them is arch architecture and the other one would be food, right? Food is fantastic. Italian food. I mean, you cannot go wrong with pasta or prosciutto or with good wine or pizza. Pizza, right, is something that we all love and we would eat it uh, for the rest of our lives. And I believe that um, when it's real homemade um, food, it's the best, right? So when you live in your hometown, um, if you're in the United States or if you are from Slovakia or if you are from different parts of the world and you are not from Italy, you will understand the difference um, when you experience the real traditional uh, homemade um, food. And so a friend of mine was telling me that she booked a trip with her husband to Rome and they had seven days um, vacation and they took, a, to take, to, they took themselves into Rome. And when they arrived, they were, you know, going to see different parts of the Rome and the architecture and they had uh, wonderful coffee and pastry um, and then one day they decided to rent a car and uh, they were outside of uh, Italy um, 40 45 minutes north from Italy and they stopped in a small town very very tiny uh, very very small town and they decided to have um, dinner and uh, this restaurant was owned by um, people who lived in that town for decades and it was very tiny six table uh, restaurants and they everything was made from scratch pasta sauce um, they even raised uh, their chickens in the backyard and so um, they were so excited to have wonderful dinner and you know they ordered typical things uh, they ordered um, pizza they ordered uh, pasta different kind and they had wine as well and she was so amazed by how different she experienced that moment for her trip. Uh, meaning being in a room and doing the touristy things, it's fun, it's always different, it's very new. If you've never been there before, if it's your first time, but taking yourself to the real Italian um, places, uh, restaurants, or see the scenery, you see the the outside of the big city, how the normal people live, um, uh, the mundane life. Um, she was amazed and she was so inspired to just simply be in the moment. She planned this trip with her husband um, and and she was excited to, you know, shop in, in Rome and, and walk in a small, um, just tiny streets um, that lead you somewhere else. You don't know, um, you don't know where you're going. And, you know, you're inviting yourself to explore. You're inviting yourself to find a treasure. You're inviting yourself to see something that you never, never, never seen before. And you maybe you saw on TV or someone else told you or showed you picture, but in the reality, when you experience it, when you experience it on yourself, it's gonna give you totally different um, feeling. And she was saying that 
while they were having dinner in this small restaurant, um, the amazing part happened that the owner of the restaurant uh, came over and had, you know, conversation and English wasn't perfect, but who cared, right? The food was fantastic. The energy was uh, beautiful. There was, there was a lot of dancing, a lot of smiling, a lot of laughter, a lot of um, satisfaction, a lot of these um, unforgettable memories. And um, funny enough, they had extra room, so they offered them to stay in the house where the restaurant was uh, located. And they made a breakfast for them and it was the best experience she ever had in her entire life and this is exactly why i personally uh, advocate about um traveling going to different places taking yourself on a journey um giving yourself explorational experience that you don't have a plan maybe a little bit but then somehow you decide to break it and go rogue in a sense and you just find yourself in a better position than you ever thought and so with that she came home she showed me pictures and and i was so excited and inspired to do something similar and and remind myself that it's so important to challenge yourself. It's so important to travel to different places. It's so important to to choose destination that it's calling you. And um, and that that's why I created this channel Explorer because there's this inner child within us who wants to explore and wants to be, you know, on an adventure and wants to find something new. Uh, this beautiful treasure that you only gonna experience and no one else. So um, thank you for listening and I'm wishing you a wonderful day.